Okay, so I guess this is kind of unboxing slash roach update video. I just got all my roaches out of this tap into here. You can see I've got quite a few. I thought I was running out, but apparently I still have a decent amount. I got this bigger tub filled with dog food and all the old like wittika and stuff I've just put under these. So these are going in there. And that one, that package over there. Wait, is my address visible? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll keep it like that. Contains 500 roaches <laughs> to add to here, to go into there. So yeah, um, unboxing time. <laughs> So I just finished feeding my teas with these and I'll be dunking them into my setup and the new setup. So without further ado, here we go. Actually I'm gonna record this and just in case they escape. So um I'll leave them both hands for this. Oh I'll grab my yeah, I'll grab my tripod and like record it. Like it said. So um doo -doo 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 -doo. this is all live guys. Wow. Look at this professionalism. How about that? Is that a good angle? I have no clue. Can you even see through that? I mean, you might be able to see me for a minute, I guess. Okay, let's go. Sorry about that, I dropped it, but bin's empty, and roaches are in. I'll try to flip those around so all that grit isn't all over there. But yeah, no, that's in the back of that thing. So something stupid. I noticed there's like texturing on the corners, and the small ones can climb up it, but I bet a piece of tape here, and it's too slippery for them to cross, so that's fixed it. So I did that all around, but that kind of sucks that they can do that, but I'm pretty sure that, that won't really help them because they still can't walk on the lid, except for the mesh and the corners aren't attached to the mesh, so it should, should still be fine, because last time they chewed a small hole in here and some got out, but yeah, package for real now. Okay, this made me really monka esque because there's like egg crates just loose in here. But I think just used it to fill it up. And I think. Oh shit, I cut in that. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> well, never mind, it's like air holes. I think the lats are in these. So I'm gonna put that in there for now. Put that. Okay. I've got some dubious too. Put those there for a second. Spring tails, put those there too. Some more dubia. Put those there. Some mealworms, I wanted to try out these. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, some newspaper. Whoa. More in the ones. Okay, it's more than I anticipated. Green sphagnums. Hell yes. The box. Okay, this is where I'm on cast a bit. Ooh, one's already out. So how will I do that? Hmm. Okay. I'll not record this, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> okay, so, so how will I do this? I'm interesting. Okay. <laughs> I've got a few in already, but very interesting. Okay, emptying one tube was a success. 
to an empty list about and then tube two I think I overbought a bit. This is quite a lot. But we'll see. Alright, it is done. It was kinda of stressful. But they're all in there. And I've got a lot now. Like seriously a lot. So yeah, pretty cool. Probably able to start giving some away soon. So yeah. Infinite supply of fruit setup. Woo!